Okay, let's talk courts. New York Appeals Court rejecting former President Trump's motion to delay his hush money trial. His jury selection is going to begin on Monday. Former Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker joins us now. Matt, really not a surprise. They asked for a delay to get a new judge. They asked for a delay to get a new location. No and no. Yeah, it's not surprising that New York doesn't want to give up its grasp, especially Manhattan. But, you know, if you look at the numbers, the, the president's filing included a poll of 2,000 people in New York <laughs> County, which is Manhattan. <clears throat> and what it found was 61% of those people polled think that Donald Trump is guilty of these crimes. Secondly, in 2020, uh, New York City voted by 76% to 23% for Joe Biden. So obviously getting a fair jury panel uh, is all, is impossible. Now, all this court said is, well, let's try to pick a jury and see if we can get uh, uh, 12 people that can be fair and impartial. But I, I worry that many, because of the high-profile nature of this case, are going to want to be on this jury and aren't going to be honest with the court during jury selection. It's Absolutely. Very concerning. It's a city of activists. I don't know if people notice. Uh, that's who's stopping our roads every day. They accuse President Trump of uh, falsifying, lying about 34 business records, 12 ledger extensions, 11 invoices, and 11 checks. But the source is Michael Cohen. He's got some, he's got some uh, um, truth problems. Meanwhile, let's talk about what's happening on another court case. The DOJ is refusing to hand over Joe Biden's audio recordings of his conversations with Robert Hur. Uh, remember, Robert Hur said that Joe Biden was a little bit too old and too sympathetic to be prosecuted. So far, Merrick Garland faces contempt charges if he doesn't hand over these, tape, uh, these tapes. They're both staring each other down. Garland says it's going to be used for political purposes. I don't want to take part. What are your thoughts? Yeah, this is a legitimate oversight function of the Congress. Remember, a judge just said, are you kidding me, when DOJ wouldn't turn over uh, certain records and uh, testimony from uh, a couple prosecutors in the Hunter Biden case as well. So, you know, the DOJ, I guess, will put Peter Navarro in prison will convict uh, Steve Bannon and try to put him in prison for the same thing. But when it comes to them turning over documents or cooperating with Congress, uh, they say that they're above the law. It's kind of gross. Where's it, where does it play out? Like, what's the next step be? I mean, you go ahead right, and... Right, it's a standoff. But ultimately, you know, they have to refer these contempt charges to DOJ. And guess what? DOJ isn't going to follow up on them by any chance. Right. Uh, I tell you, it is worth reading the transcript. The president gets goes all over the place. They ask him one question. He's talking about his childhood. Uh, it does tell the story. So maybe they should just pull some excerpts out. But evidently, the tapes are really telling. Uh, Matt, thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.